I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at Pirate's Land launching their IDEO on Perigen Launchpad. In this video, a full review on Pirate's Land, including a full price prediction. Let's have a look if this is a interesting opportunity. <laughs> They have the lead venture capital, Shima Capital, and the market maker will be Gotbit. They are going for a total raise of $150,000 on April 29th at 10 a.m. UTC. The pool will open. You have about three hours until the pool closes. The vesting will be 25% at TGE, then linear for three months. So basically 25, 25, 25, 25, totaling 100%. The initial market cap will be $567,750. So definitely quite high from what I expect to be a B quality game. But let's have a look. Pirates Land, the website looks fun. It looks a little bit of a childish game. Uh, the game with our two biggest passions, games and pirate tales, we feel very fortunate to be able to combine the two into a unique metaverse like Treasureverse. We aspire to open up a strong pirate community around the world, sailing together across blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's a little bit of marketing language. Uh, let's play the trailer. Can I make it a little bit bigger? That would be nice. Okay, Pirates Land. Okay, this is interesting to note. It has been uploaded on January 17th, which was three months ago. And in the last three months, it was only viewed 600 times, which is not that many times. Free to play, play to earn, build your own empire on treasure land. Okay, I would like to see what the game actually looks like instead of, okay, this is what it looks like. So it's kind of the mobile format that we see very, very often. Okay, island shop, you can, uh, not enough gold, you need to earn gold. Okay, you can spin the wheel to earn some gold. Okay, then you get gold, I get it. And then you can unlock your castle and your ship. And you can upgrade it to a bigger one. Okay, and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's basically the ID. Go up in levels. Okay. And then you can shoot at the different things to accumulate more gold. Okay. I'm very curious to see who's who's the target market for something like this. I assume children, but okay, I get the idea about the game. Features, personalize your items, shoot to earn. PKC and attack to get points. Okay. Game assets, ship, island, and the ports. And we saw that on the upgrades. Audited by Certic, Tokenomics, no advisors, and the partners, Dow Starter, Perigen. On the team, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. CEO, CMO. Okay, so I assume looking at their names, I'm not sure, but this is a Vietnamese team. We have a roadmap, some media creatives and a vision okay i mean a vision for this type of game i don't th really think that's required but at least they have it they have a white paper as well so i'm not really looking at it i do understand the game it's quite simple um, they have some storyline to it which is cool the different levels the ports um, but i'm more looking for the economy so the token no time consuming gameplay no gas okay PvE to earn, PvP to earn, get rank to earn, trading, staking, okay. They have a flow chart. Trading, buy and selling tokens, staking, marketplace, NFTs, island, PvE monsters, PvE boss, PvP, the most exciting mode in Pirate's Land where the winner will receive PLT and be crowned the Pirate King. Okay, that's cool. Rank, the top players will get, okay. PVP pirates. Okay, I get it. Simple to the point tokenomics. All right, as we saw, 500 million supply in the Binance Smart Chain. Staking, trading for rewards, participating in events, buying items in the pirate land, transactions on the marketplace. 
token distribution, here we go. So we have 4% of the total supply allocated to the seed, which they get 8% TGE, very high for a seed round. 8% uh, TGE, one month lockup and then linear vesting. Private sale, 12%, okay, 12% TGE. Unlock 12%, one month lockup then, okay. So they basically have the same length vesting as seed, which doesn't make that much sense. They get more TGE and they have this linear vesting also 12 months. Public, 3% of total supply, 25% TGE, and then linear vesting over three months. So it's 25, 25, 25, 25. Play to earn, okay. Fund reserve, liquidity, marketing and partnerships, 2%, okay. That's quite a big percentage for marketing as well. Team, 10%, 12 months, and then 5% monthly. Advisor, six months, and 10% monthly, okay. Um, where are the token prices though? Because that's what I'm missing, because this, this is not looking good. So I need to know the token prices in order to make a proper calculation. Uh, but they, their white paper, they also had, have a pitch deck. Maybe it's in the pitch deck. Ah, this is a good overview of the gameplay. Okay, okay, the game mechanics, here we go. No prices, okay. So if there's no prices, it automatically means that we're going to, to skip this IDO, right? Because with, with such a high seed and such a large amount of private sale tokens, there will be definitely a, quite a big dump, right? Uh, with the amount of tokens are also not displayed here, but private sale gets a, a huge unlock. Let's, let's look at the relative numbers, right? So... Our strategy, as always, get the initial back or as much back as possible on TGE. This is a public round, so it's it's 12%, so that's uh, about 60 million tokens. And this is only 15 million, and this is 20 million. So although this is higher, private sale holds the most tokens, which they're going to dump on the TGE. Uh, the white paper is not really that clear. The pitch deck is also not really that clear. Um, Tax, claim tax, okay. Withdrawing, 3%. Buy, 1% token. Sell, so there's a buying and sell tax. Transferring between wallets. Trading on the marketplace. So yeah, I don't do buy and sell tax tokens in general. I think that's fucked up. I think that's for like shit projects. If you have buy and sell tax on your tokens, that's, uh, that's not a good thing, in my opinion. You should be able to get that money the revenue stream somewhere else. Okay, the KYC, the team, design. Okay, this is so low. Um, internal tests, launch social and website, audit. So now phase one, Q2, game testnet, IDO, listing at pancake swap, coin gecko, coin market cap. That those are not really coin market cap, coin gecko, they're not really milestones, are they? Release PVE, islands, maintenance ships, marketplace, customization, game mainnet, should be this quarter. Test PvP, okay, Raid Boss, Treasureverse, Test Layer 2, okay. So basically they have a roadmap until next year. 10,000 holders. Yeah, so they're not going for a, for a huge push in general. I mean, I wouldn't even, I would r rate this like a B minus uh, thing. Because the, the tokenomics are not clear, Right, so they have tax details here as well. Buy and sell tax. Fuck that in general, always. Um, I mean, the team um, is worth to have a look at. So they, they look decently uh, experienced, right? But they they co-founder of G-Sound, founder at LFG Ventures. I don't know if they still work there, but I always like teams if they if they're not like 20, 30, 40, 50 people teams that at least the CEO. Uh, is the founder or at least they're focused on one thing, right? CEO or founder, doesn't matter, but they're focused on one thing and not have multiple things running at the same time, unless they're not involved there anymore, right? Which is possible, but at least from their written backgrounds, right? It looks that they have proper experience. Um, but yeah, I don't like it that they have tax. I don't like it that the tokenomics are not clear. 
because those prices are extremely important. Now we can't dial in the prices. I'm just going to assume the worst, which means that the seed and private are going to dump on the public. And as Perigen is hosting the public sale, it's a simple no for me. Why? Because I don't like to get dumped on. I like to get as much of my initial on the actual TGE back. In addition to that, it's relatively high uh, for the current market conditions. The current market conditions being around $38,000 to $40,000 Bitcoin. I don't see a project with close to a 600k initial market cap to pump significantly on the initial launch. With only 3.8% circulating supply, that means that the fully diluted market cap for this project is about $10 million, which I don't think that this project is worth that at all from what I've seen so far. So I'm going to pass on Pirate's Land on Paragen due to these factors. Let me know if you have anything in terms of a different opinion on this project. Feel free to drop that down in the comments below or if I missed any important information. If you have the tokens, I don't have time to look it up now, but if you have the token information, uh, I don't think it's going to change my mind, but please feel free to drop it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to have a look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Real quick before you go, if you're into IDOs and Launchpad, check out my software trackdigits.com, free to use while in beta. It tracks all your IDO vesting, so you never miss a claim again. Integrates with Google Calendar and sends you a notification to your phone 10 minutes before your claim happens. No longer will you have to work with Google Sheets, Excel, keep everything up to date in a automated software. The claims, the vesting, the profit and loss, the statistics, everything included in one easy to use software. You can use it for free while in beta. All I ask in return is that you give me some feedback on how we can improve this platform. You can find a link to sign up for free through the link in the description down below. I hope you give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'm very excited in building this platform together with you. TrackDigits.com